So after talking to Luke, I kind of realized we needed to pull at least two more people over. And I'm really keen to play with Abby and Ross. I genuinely think I can pull Abs over to our side. After all, I am a supermodel. It is my job to work on the ladies. I mean, I'll do anything to win. I'm going to get that money. <laughs> you got to work that flirting magic. So Luke and I really need to put a dent in this sporting alliance. And for me, that's going to be knocking out these Australian treasures as quick as I can. <laughs> Ross definitely needs to come over the dark side. He's going to be so happy there. He's going to be like a pig in mud. This is extremely strong. <laughs> this idol can hopefully break it up. I need to use it right. Please. We all this game. We all this game. Here. Hey, now it's a game. Now they need to make that happen, bro. If Susie goes home tonight, it's going to be a bomb. It's going to be an atom bomb. This alliance of athletes who have been like going together, playing this like moral white knight game, they are going to be shook to their core. Third person voted out of Australian Survivor. Susie, you need to bring me a torch. Susie, the tribe has spoken. I see Janine dip down and slip a little something into her pocket. So immediately I walk over to her. I don't want to freak her out and I give her the old, hey, that's good, good job. Because I think she thought she got away with it. Uh, I'm gonna try and convince her to let me play a fake idol and switch it with him for the real champion's idol. And then Davey's got an idol. Just give me the money. I'm pretty good at crafting. I've been stealing little bits and pieces of string here and there, and I have found the perfect little skull. I think I'm kind of legit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a golden god. Right now, a golden god. I'm a golden god. I got it. I got it. We lost the immunity challenge, so I've been doing my sad face, but on the inside, I kind of have it a chuckle. I didn't think I would be able to switch a fake idol for a real idol. Has that ever actually happened in Survivor before? I don't think anyone's ever done that in Survivor before. Now, myself, I have a full-powered idol. Janine has the contender's idol, and Luke has a full-powered idol. I've got my fingers in all these idols. Not one man should have this much power. It's crazy. I'm like power tripping already. I'm walking around the jungle untouchable. Let me just put that on. Oh, feels good. In your best interest, you guys can put votes on Steve tonight. Now we're just gonna get some Like I'm telling ET and Simon, look, this is the numbers and it's gonna go Steve. If you guys vote Steve, Steve will go. If you don't, you're gonna be in trouble. I'm not trying to strong arm you, but don't stray from the point. Fifth person voted out of Australian Survivor, Stephen. That's five votes, that's enough. Stephen, the tribe has spoken. Switched to the champion's idol with Dave. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to have a look at the idol, but I'll definitely try to have a look later. Sean coming across today is total nightmare material. Ooh. Worst thing I could think of, maybe like plane crashing into the ocean, being swimming around with sharks. It's a pretty close second at this point. I'm a little concerned, to be honest. I don't know if he knows that idol is fake. No, I'm sure Martin can remember too. Oh. 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 oh man, my eyes were like bing, hook, line, and sinker. I think I've gotten away with it. I don't think Sean has any clue that his idol is fake. I felt bad for maybe a microsecond, maybe two microseconds. 
But then I know my move has worked. I just feel full of survivor pride. People are feeling a bit bad for E.T. and Son. Like an emotional look at the moment. I've got no emotions in this game, man. This is Survivor. I'm feeling pretty great. I'm confident we have numbers today. And going into Tribal, pretty certain death march for E.T. tonight. Sixth person voted out of Australian Survivor. E.T. E.T., the tribe has spoken. On the Champions Tribe, we have, wow, we have seven old contenders. Hannah, Andy, Sarah, Sam, John, Baden, and Daisy. And two old champions, Luke and David. So Tribe Swap could not have gone worse. It could not have gone worse. Seven to two. Seven to two. I've lost my entire alliance. Luki and I are in a bad, bad position. We need to start making some really good inroads with this tribe. If not, I'm dead man walking, man. Like, oh, it sucks. Sammy's definitely in smug. What she doesn't know is we have our little insurance cards in our pockets in the form of those idols. And after that chat, I think I want to put my vote on her because I just don't like her face. I'm on candy at the moment, and I really want to get rid of Sammy. Seems to me like the Contenders tribe has imploded. So if they want Sammy gone, it's done. I feel great. I'm back on top again. Luke and I are back on top. It didn't take long, did it? Seventh person voted out of Australian Survivor. Sam. That's four votes. Sam, the tribe has spoken. Thank you. Andy is all over me now. He got completely left out of that vote and he just thinks I'm a tub of ice cream and he wants to chow down. He cannot get enough of me. To be honest, I don't want anything to do with him. He thinks he's the king and he wants to play the game. But Andy has no game. I'm sorry, my brother, but I'm running the show. I've gone from the bottom to the top again and cream always rises to the top. Me and Luke should be on the chopping block. Good times. But I've got the ex-contenders fighting between themselves, which is music to my ears. I just think we're like on another level of the game. It's like Michael Jordan and LeBron taking on like a couple of high school kids. You know what I'm saying? They just don't even understand gameplay at all. Um, I mean, I think a blind side is the most humane way to put someone down. Eighth person voted out of Australian Survivor, Sarah. I'm starting to think of Dave as my closest ally out here. He thinks we've got a thing going. <sighs> Nothing for the moment. I'm sorry, my brother, but uh, at the moment we do not. Oh, that's Sean. Sean told me he has Daisy in his pocket. Sean's stronger, he's faster, he's taller. His missus is okay too, I suppose. But I'll tell you one place where Sean doesn't have the edge on me. I know how to play Survivor. What a slime ball. When I felt it in the packaging, I was like, that's it. But looking at it now, it's completely different to what I had. So, yeah, there's no doubt my mind it's fake. I will not be voting to send someone home tonight. <gasps> Instead, the champions will be voting to decide which of you they would like to steal to join their tribe. Sure, that's four votes. That's enough. Take off your old buff, toss it in the fire, Uh, come get your new one. You're now a champion. Thanks, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about the tribe dynamic changing now that Sean's here. It's clearly evident that there's been a shift. It went from the focus being Luke and I running the tribe to Sean suddenly taking over the entire frontier. 
So did you hear your name come up this afternoon? I did. You know, you do need to trust the relationships you've built, otherwise you won't make it till the end. I'm going to have to play this bad boy tonight. Hasn't, so... Yeah, it very much could... I think there's a one in eight chance. If anyone has a hidden immunity item and you want to play it... Now would be the time to do so. Be my king. Oh, I'd be loath to give that up, mate. Any votes cast for David will not count. First vote. David. David does not count. David does not count. Ninth person voted out of Australian Survivor, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, the tribe has spoken. I could have played the fake idol. Oh, shit. Busted. Ooh, Sean. Got a souvenir that Dave made me. That was planted somewhere and you found that. What would you think? 100%. Turn around. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's get the skull off the tree mailbox. Congratulations on winning a private screening at the Survivor Cinema. However, this screening is indeed private, which means that you will be attending one at a time. You must now decide on the order that you will visit the cinema. Jeez. Straight off the bat, John hands me the keys to the kingdom. I'm definitely going to use this right now. Like, if I get to see my kids, there will be a peak man. Okay, so what's... All right, Dave. All right. Enjoy. Fun, yeah. We'll be waiting. Yep. I mean, I could not believe it. They sent me first. Like, I'm in the most trouble in this tribe right now. It's a no-brainer to boot me out. I've basically been running roughshod over the, Sean's entire game. I sold him a fake idol. I lied to Daisy. I miss my family like crazy. But we just want to send you all our love from Brooklyn. Oh, oh, the hunger is getting to me. Mm. We're thinking about you all oh, the time, oh, and we're so oh. super proud that you're still in the game. Oh, oh, oh. Still. Oh, shh. Oh, they're going to be stuck down in this. Oh, the Golden God is back. wasn't Sean. Tonight it would be Daisy. All the way. But I'm pretty sure that Daisy has an idol. So third best prize is Andy. Andy, uh, the tribe has spoken. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, Dave, I may have cast a vote or two for you. And Dave has an idol. Oh. Cheers, guys. Oh. Dave doesn't uh, mind, you know, wearing flamboyant clothes and strutting around. Dave's island fashion is very clear. There's very minimal shirts uh, and maximum accessories. Yeah. Sometimes I need to remind Dave we're playing Survivor and it's not next top model. I mean, I know what the model stereotype is and I've been playing up to that the entire time. Black is always the coolest colour but I'm running the game. And even though Andy tried to blow up my game last night, and no one's gonna believe that, so I've got nothing to worry about. I am sitting pretty. I've got an idol in my pocket and I'm gonna strut all the way to Soul Survivor. Big search for David. Another one for Sean. Oh. Sean pops out, and David oh, yeah. wins immunity. David, come on over. Well done, Dave. Amazing effort. Thank you. Immunity is yours. You are safe tonight. Cannot be voted out. So take the opportunity with old um, Sean not having the necklace. 
It's not just to double check. You're not going to go Sean. I'm going to go Daisy, mate. You guys are good with Sean. Yeah. We've got okay. six. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. It's been a great battle with Sean. I've had my eyes on him basically since I gave him the fake idol. And he's been trying to take me out since he came to our tribe. And it's uh, one of those David versus Goliath moments, I suppose. And we know how that story goes. <laughs> Bang. 14th person voted out of Australian Survivor, first member of our jury. Sean, that's five votes, that's enough. You need to bring me a torch. I'm I know. Oh, Sean, the tribe has spoken. Six champions and six contenders at Merge, but when the numbers were 6-6, six, six, Davey won the battle. I, uh, I came out, I was the chief. I got rid of Andy, I got rid of Sean, and I'm back on top of the world. Like, I'm super in control of this game. I think it's time for us to just... blindside Davey. So it's time to put the plan to get rid of him into action. I have to get everyone on board. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol, and you want to play it, now will be the time to do so. Read the votes. David. Yeah. Yeah. 15th person voted out of Australian Survivor, second member of our jury. David. Six votes, that's enough. David, the tribe has spoken. They have. I got massively blindsided. But to be honest, uh, I'm pretty happy I went out like that.